is a id. And this is really a, a non-emphatic this or that. It's uh, almost uh, when we're just referring to something that's already been said uh, you know, or pointed out. So this or that woman, this or that man. Uh, or it can be used by itself, and it will be the third person pronoun, he, she, he, is, she, ea, it, id. Uh, and it too follows a uh, very similar pattern to hik hai kok and ila ila elud, and that is in the genitive aus. You've got your ius genitive ending, so is a id, aus aus aus. So your stem is e, and your ending is ius. And the dative ei has that dative i stem uh, uh, ending. Ei ei ei. And then the accusative, et om, et am, and id, the same as our nominative. But the masculine and feminine are regular first and second declension endings. And eo, ea, eo. And then in the plural, et i, et i, et a. Uh, this, we've got our e stem with our regular first and second declension endings. Now, sometimes what can happen is if the ending ends it begins in I, or is I, as is the case here, uh, that initial E will assimilate to the I. So, et I or ee, et I, et a, et orum, et arum, et orum, our regular genitive plural endings, et is or ee, et is, et is, eos, eos, et a, the, new, the accusative, the same as the nominative, and et is, et is, et is. Uh, so, if you remember that if the ending begins in I, it can assimilate the, the stem to I. So that's what happens here. This I picks up the I here, so it is instead of et is. Uh, and remember that is a id, other than the genitive singular and the dative singular, um, these really are very close to being first and second declension adjectives.